today i would like to teach students of class 5 shall we begin uh, i would before i could begin i would like to ask you a few questions they are do you like nature of course we all of us like nature we need fresh air so we have uh, so many animals birds flowers everything you can find in nature so in relation with this nature we would like to learn a poem that is the flower school written by rabindranath tagore in the beginning i'll be reading this poem simultaneously i'll be explain explaining all this the uh, meaning of this when storm clouds rumble in the sky and june showers come down the moist east wind comes marching over the field to blow its bagpipes among the bamboos so you will find the meaning of these lines when storm clouds rumbling in the sky storm storm rumbles so storm clouds rumble in the sky and june showers come down all of us know usually which month do you do we get rain we get june july august all these months we get rain so here the poet tells about when storm clouds rumble in the sky and june showers come down so here we get the idea that in the month of june we get rain the moist east wind comes marching over the heath so what is the meaning of heath here heath is a large area open land covered with covered with wild grass and other plants so here continued with this line the moist east wind comes marching over the heath to blow its bagpipes among the bamboos so bamboos where do you find bamboos bamboos are also we can find in the forest then crowds of flowers come out of a sudden from a, from nobody knows where that means they come out when it rains so we don't know where they were earlier where they were hiding so you, nobody knew where they were once again i repeat this line then crowds of flowers come out of a sudden from nobody knows where and dance upon the grass in wild glee so wild all of us know the meaning of wild and wild something which is not uh, common for others wild glee in a very excited and happy way here wild glee is the meaning they are happy and excited way mother again here the poet ask question mother i really think the flowers go to school underground so this is poet's imagination that he has a doubt that flowers go to school underground they do their lessons with the doors shut because flowers we cannot come out and study in the schools so they are uh, in this house inside the doors so doors will be shut and they will be in the school and if they want to come out to play before it is time their master makes them stand in a corner so as we find here we can also see the flowers if they are coming come out if they come out without uh, any police permission the master what does the master do here the master make them stand them in a corner the same way we do sometimes when you go out of the classroom and you should come back at the right time if you don't come at the right time what happens to you you may get punishment so this punctuality is must in each and every individual's life okay so we here we learn uh, the punctuality of the uh, nature in this when the rain come they have their holidays when the rain come they have their holidays whereas we get holidays now due to some other reason yes or yes or no we we get holidays due to other social uh, calamities that is the thing sickness that's a uh, sickness that is coronavirus 
So where here the when the rain comes, they have their holidays. Who has the holidays? These flowers. We talked about flowers. No, flowers are holidays. Branches clash together in the forest. Branches clash together. What is the meaning of clash? Clash means they hit each other. They hit each. Other. Branches clash together in the forest, and the leaves rustle in the wild wind. Rustle in the wild wind. The thunder clouds clap their giant hands, and the flower children rush out in dresses of pink and yellow white. Pink, yellow, and white. Do you know, mother? Their home is in the sky, where the stars are. Again, the boy tells about. Uh, remembering his mother and talking about uh, talking to her saying that their home is in the sky whose homes this flowers homes are in the sky where the stars are you know stars are very far away from us haven't you seen how eager they are to get there haven't you seen how eager they are to get there so don't you know why they are in such a hurry that is another thing when we are now, for example, we are out of the house uh, for six hours. So when we uh, come back to house, we are so eager to go to our mother. That is the same way the poet tells that uh, we are so eager to get there. We, we are so eager to reach our mother. So that is why having you seen how eager they are to get there, don't you know they are why they are in such a hurry? So all are in a hurry. Why they are in a hurry? Uh, of course, I can guess to whom they raise their arms. They have their mother as I have my own. So of course, I can guess to whom they raise their hands. Nobody, they cannot raise the hands to anybody else. So these flowers raise their arms to their mother. They have their mother as I have my own. The same way. Uh, we all of us are very close to our own mother. Okay, now here the word meaning is moist is slightly wet. Heat, a large area of open land covered with wild grass and other plants. That's very clearly, it is given as the meaning. It's a very simple way I explain to you. Backpipes, a wild, a wind instrument with reed pipes. So what is the reed pipes? Reed, reed means uh, we can see it in the forest that is very unwanted plant which is longer which is longer with that they make an instrument musical instrument in wild glee in a very excited and that's already i told you it's very excited and happy way and again the master here that master it is here plastic and clash means already hit against each other that's the thing now we have uh, something about the poet that is rabindra Tagore. That is, he was, uh, his time was 1861 to 1941. Was a, he was a famous Bengali writer who was also known for his contribution to uh, art and music. So he was very famous in art and music. He experimented with the new prose and verse forms. Because he, the verse forms he has not written like uh, with the rhyme, rhyme, rhyme words are not found so much. Very common. It's not very common in this. So, in 1913, he became the first Asian to be awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature for his collection of poems called Gitanjali. It's very famous, uh, very well known book for us. That's a famous poem that's called Gitanjali. We all of us read. In this poem, the speaker is excitedly watching the monsoon rain. This poem, it is he is excitedly watching the monsoon rain and noticing small flowers that have bloomed all over this place. Small flowers that has bloomed all over the place. He wonders where they had been all through the year. He imagines they must have seen, they must have been in school just like him. So he thought these small flowers were also in the school. School. That is why they, he was telling about this small flowers. And the speaker wonders why the pretty flowers are so eager to come out and play. He concludes that they too, re they too need the warmth and love of their mother. So especially he misses his mother's affection. So he wants to 
compare that his mother's affection with the uh, affection of that flowers and flower and mother. That is that is a comparison here we see. Okay, this is about. So you all of us can read this poem nicely at home, and uh, uh, you can tell it uh, ten to fifteen sentences in your own words. You read and understand this poem in your uh, after reading one or two to three times. You read this poem and speak uh, ten to fifteen sentences when uh, when I come to school. Okay. Uh, before that, you do this. Uh, these questions let us discuss here what does the east wind do in the month of june the east wind what does the east wind do the east wind comes marching over the heap to blow its back pipes among the bamboos second question what does the speaker see while the storm clouds tumble in the sky the speaker shows the speaker sees showers come down while the storm clouds tumble in the sky. Third question: Where do the flowers stay all year? The flowers stay in an unknown place all year. What does the speaker imagine? The speaker imagines that the flowers go to school underground. How does the speaker describe the storm? The speaker describes that it is a rumbling storm. Who do the flowers raise their arms up to? The flowers raise their arms up to their mother. So this is what the poem gives the clear picture. So the rest of the things you can do it in your own way. The other one more question is that think and answer. That is. Why do you think the flowers dance upon the grass in wild glee? This you can do it in your own uh, words. This answer. Okay. So this is what the poem summarizes. The poem summarizes about the flower scope.